Bismillahir Rahmani Rahim. My dear students, Assalamu Alaikum. Hope you all are staying at home and keeping yourself safe. However, during this pandemic, you shouldn't waste a single moment idly. You can utilize your every moment by doing different creative activities so that you won't feel bored. Side by side, you must have to study to complete the syllabus. Keep yourself updated, watch our video classes in all subjects online and prepare yourself to sit for the exam. If you face any difficulty, feel free to contact me. Let's start our today's session. Today I will again talk about English for Today, Unit 19, page 7475. Today's learning points are at first, we will review of our previous class, reading and understanding the new unit, discussing question answer related to the unit. So let's talk about our previous class. Do you remember what was our previous class and what was my focusing point? Yes, it is ordinal number. So look at ordinal numbers. Try to recall your memory. First, second, third, tenth, fifth, like that. So now I am giving you a task below that you will write in your HW copy. So look at the table. At first I am reading the instruction. Here is a schedule of your weekdays activities. Write five sentences by using the names of the days when you do these activities. Friday is the last day of the week. First one is done for you. Look at the example. Example here first one is done for you so in one row it is days of the week and that this given as ordinal pattern and the activities are here given so on friday i usually wash my clothes why it is friday because it is written in the question friday is the last day so you have to choose the last day it is seventh you don't need to write the seventh again you will write the day because it is written here write the days when you do the activities so here the ordinal way it is written and you will write the day days so I, I hope you understand that so let's start our new lesson new lesson is unit 19 page 74 75 look at this is an article published in the sunshine magazine the name of the article is A Visit to the Liberation War Museum. It is written by a student of class 5. It is written in the book. You just go to the book, open the pages and read this. This is a very important chapter. Now you will look at the questions here in the next page. The questions are number 1. When did the class go to the Liberation War Museum? Why did the class go to the Liberation War Museum? How many permanent galleries are there in the Liberation War Museum? Which two galleries did the writer and his class visit? What personal belongings did the students see in Gallery 4? Our victory, our values. Here you will get all the informations. You read this chapter carefully and then write the answers in your HW copy. This is a very important chapter. And now look at here the next exercise. This is nothing difficult. The sentences are scrambled. You will just find which one is which which one comes first. You will identify that and you will write here one, two, three, four, five. Maybe the last sentence will be the third one. The first sentence will be the fifth one, could be. So you go through these all sentences and identify which one and uh, in order. So your homework will be. Exercise B question answer in your HW copy then writing a letter to your friend about your experience of visiting the Liberation War Museum and then the task I gave before starting the new class the writing five sentences using the table and ordinal numbers. Thank you for watching the video. Allah Hafiz. Hope Wait for our next class. Hope for the best. Assalamu alaikum.